and thank equally. My first son, Mutawali of San Farah. He faced one of the stiffest battle crises, opposition, banditry, everything. I thought the time might we eat him up. <laughs> but no way. He didn't surrender. He didn't collapse. He brought the team together. He listened to the word of elders. And he has brought the state for peace. So many stories. We can go on and on. This, but let's celebrate the joy. The joy that we have a country. Let's give respect to the death. To the death. The person of M.K. Abiola, in whose democratic memory, June 12th became a national holiday. <laughs> Could you write Abiola, Absa's mother, who made that sacrifice? It was in a house in the Dafani Cup, Bonu Cup, with old turban tied up, and escaped <laughs> from this country. So that I can come back to fighting me. <laughs> and I came back with fought. The democracy is here. I'm glad that she's participating. She's working hard to bring that peace, prosperity, to demonstrate that courage and determination. to save Nigeria. What is important and what is different in what we did in the convention is we were multiplied by three of our rivals' convention. Mm -hmm. They thought there would be chaos. We bluff. We navigated our way through it. They thought there would be crisis. We smile at each other. No backing. No biting. No beating. What? As they expect. Yes, I said in my language, in the appropriate place, where Abiola is a descendant, a chief, a son of the soil, a Milukun, <laughs> any Yoruba man, any person who understand Yoruba, we know the meaning a milokon. It's my turn. <laughs> and in some churches today, it has become 
a prayer in the local Lady Mary. <laughs> to all of you, I say thank you, you've done a good job. If the mood will reflect the day, I will spend the next year. <laughs> I say thank you very much. I have for uh, donating a befitting office for us to continue to struggle. We will think, use our intellectual inclusiveness, build a nation of sound mind, sound people, elevate our people, extract them from poverty. There is no reason to be in abject poverty in this country. We are brilliant people. Yeah. Let us wear the uniform of can do, the mind of those people who have built other nations. It is a responsibility, particularly people from this age. You are the owner of today, tomorrow, and day after. <laughs> It will be your grandchildren that we drive the nation after you have gone. The prayer is that we will live a united, prosperous nation for you. Amen. You see what Amadou Bouhari, as the president left, so many of you have caught soccer watchers. Eh? Before the end of the game, they will say, the commentator will say, who is the man of the match? <laughs> the man of the confession. The man of the democracy for that day was Mamadou Buhari. <laughs> You say you want to run? Run. <laughs> you want to crawl? Crawl. <laughs> you want to dance? Dance. <laughs> he led the feet for us. Let us perform in the way we want. He carried the day. Nigeria united. Nigeria is happy. Mm -hmm. Prosperity. Greatness, courage, and every opportunity that can build a nation, that can make a nation our own, your green passport, being respected, is in your hand, is in our brain, we will use it. Amen. God bless Nigeria. <laughs> Thank you very much. Gentlemen of the press, thank you, thank you.